Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires where today we have an awful lot of dwarves left to deal with, but not Bellicor. Bellicor's got other stuff on his mind. So there is definitely a Dark Elf army somewhere over here. I don't remember exactly where, but they've been following us in ambush mode for several turns, right? I do not think I could go back to the portal to move Bellicor over to um, to help out Krom right now. And honestly, even if I could, I don't think that that's what we're best um, set doing here. Let's keep moving this way. I want to knock out all of Iotain's stuff up here. Yeah, definitely worth destroy destroying this. Destroy. Because, you know, if we're going to remove Iotain from the game, we may as well just do it right now. How many settlements does Eotain have in total? The elves of Elfwan. Seven. Okay. So, what do we know? One, two, we know they have a bunch on the north shore. Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we do, we do have vision of all of them. So the stuff that's up here probably belongs to the, um... Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but the green elf faction that has the heart on the flag. Which means once we deal with Torfinu, we're going to be turning around. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to get back to uh, a more useful place. We'll figure it out later. But frankly, Bellicor's army could probably use a turn of like just healing time. Speaking of healing time, do I want Intero to just chill out? Yeah, probably, right? I don't necessarily need to go anywhere this turn. Well, we can knock this over, probably for free. How big is this faction? Okay, they're looking pretty weak. They have four total settlements. One, two, three. And then, is this... Hold on. Wait, no, sorry. That's the other... The other faction. So one, two... Okay, we don't exactly know where all their stuff is. I think Argwalon is not actually on my objective list, right? Yeah, we have to kill the Wood Elf faction in that area that is headed by Orion. We technically don't care about Argwalon. The ultimate campaign victory. Control the following seven settlements... Oh, right, because, yeah, all the, all the dwarf stuff. Okay. Control the following seven settlements. This is probably not the right way to word this. Seven of the following settlements. This is, I think, what we're, what we're trying to do. We're trying to get long plus ultimate. The domination victory of just do a, do a bunch of damage. Well, I'm not so concerned about. Do any of these give any actual... Oh, yeah, okay. There are some actual rewards to the tiers. That's interesting. So it might have been worth focusing on finishing the short victory. Uh, what are we missing on that? We do have to actually kill the decadent host. We have to finish off the seducers. All right, this is all stuff that will happen. And we're already clear on these. Yeah, extra magic for our armies would not be meaningless. Okay, I think I am going to I am going to knock this over. May as well. Conflict is endless. And we probably just burn it. I don't need this. Yeah. It's good to keep leveling up our uh, <laughs> our aggressive traits. So, okay. That's a good one to have unlocked. Also a good one to have unlocked. We just need to win a battle with at least 2,000 kills. We're going to have to go up against some very particular enemies for that to be likely. Demonic glory. Uh, so... A ruinous triumph. Where is the... Okay, here's the missile unit thing. Yeah, reload time reduction, a little bit of missile resistance. I will probably just get all four. 
Killing will be all the easier. And then you will grab more points of garbage. Hooray, garbage. Okay. So we'll get some healing done while we're uh, while we're uh, letting Nuln develop and while we're waiting for the cooldown on the Cursor's Boon to refresh. What do these ones do? Just a big corruption gain in an area and... Okay, this is not bad. Just a big buff for an army. So that leaves Tossin. This is a little weird. None but Slanesh, mate. They ran out into my zone of control, breaking my uh, breaking my ambush, but again not actually triggering it. Dominance. Well, I think we should. Yeah, I was gonna say we should be able to crush them. This army is uh, made up of very low tier troops. It's all just like the most basic infantry. So we'll go ahead and take the auto resolve win here. Ugh, maybe I should have done that manually. We would not have taken that many losses if I had done it manually. Okay, we did manage to make it to level 21, which is wonderful news. Uh, definitely grab Brand of Turmoil. This is our particular Brand of Turmoil. Uh, and then, yeah, a Vigor Loss Reduction for the whole army, Weapon Strength for the Lord... And, I mean, we definitely want to take out Tor Ivres, so I guess let's, let's ride over there and grab it. Yeah, I'm just going to burn it this turn, even though it's going to put my army in, like, terrible shape. Because we really do just want to be done with this, and we, wa we want it to be gone before Inkari gets here. And Inkari seems to be on the way. Although, actually, maybe this army is um, nothing to be concerned about. So, actually, we've almost got this faction wiped out. And then Talsin can go and uh, and provide some support up in Dwarf Town, probably. I actually feel very good about that. Okay, so... Missile resistance for the big dragon unit. Absolutely. Max out the burning head. Okay. We found a power stone, which is a lovely item to have. And is this is their last settlement then? Yes. Okay. Cool. Wonderful. Uh, we could, I suppose, have Talsin provide support. Like, maybe start working on high elf stuff and provide some support for Bellicor. Maybe. We'll see. So, Krom... Right now, neither one of these armies have anything in them. Not likely. This army's still strong. Sjok Traken is building up a garrison. You have my promise. I mean, we can ride over and stop these armies from being allowed to generate troops. If we get attacked, we just retreat. I don't think they'll follow us out, because we'll win a 1v1 in the snow. Um, it thinks close defeat. I mean, it's only there's only any risk of a defeat at all if the enemies actually show up as reinforcements. Which I can't imagine they would want to do, but maybe. If they do, I think we beat them. I assumed that they wouldn't. I assumed they would let me just pick off these guys out here, because why would you devote your whole army to that? But if the auto-resolver is suggesting that it will be a victory, then they'll pursue it, right? Here's a problem. All of the reinforcement flags are just labeled crack a -drack. We don't actually know which one's, which one's going to be the big army, and we do want to be on top of that when they start showing up. Because, like, if we can just hold them in place with a bunch of our uh, units, Krom can, Krom can kill a lot of them through magic. Explosive fire from the Hell Cannon will do a lot of work. Like, 
it will be a very ugly situation for them. Okay, so that's irrelevant. I'm so happy the reinforcement flags show the actual incoming units. Okay, so this is the, the, the important one here. We have 92 seconds. Well, let's figure it out. So this is a kind of a nightmare for the Hell Cannon. There's no way for the Hell Cannon to shoot over there easily. At least not if we also want it to be able to shoot over here. Yeah, that's annoying. What we might actually do is just disregard that army entirely. Ordinarily, my play would be kill them real fast. But maybe the better play is just don't even worry about them. Or like we can have the horse, the horse masters and maybe the exalted hero work on this. True power. And then my mastery absolute. everybody else is like run for that reinforcement flag as fast as possible. Sorcerer Lord. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So... Just kind of get over here. Basically, just kind of in a, in a big ball of troops, and we'll figure out the specifics once we're over there. But I definitely want to get moving. Okay. You probably don't want to be in exactly that spot. All right, move speed. You two stay in skirmish mode. Just run over and they have 60 range. We have 90, so this shouldn't be a problem. There should not be a moment where they can actually hit us. that up pretty fast. Are we starting to get position over here? Kind of not really, actually. Right, a lot of our troops move pretty slowly. Uh, well, Doom Knights, you know, a lot of the flying units should probably be over here. Okay, they were absolutely going to just take the uh, take the wave of grenades. Skirmish mode does not have them stay as safe as I was thinking. Bring us to well, fortunately, they can attack while um, while moving. So, even though their attacks are largely ineffective against armor, they're not like completely ineffective against armor. So, we're wearing them down. Back up and get another charge on. Brother, Please don't let them throw grenades at you for free. Kill them all. 
Right. Okay, enemies are arriving. So, a lot of our units never made it to the positions they were supposed to make it to. Because we are so slow, we can't cross a battlefield in that amount of time. However... This is still good. Okay, so Marauders just, yeah, just fight. Giants just fight. These Slayers are anti-large, so Giants maybe go... Ugh, giant Slayers, okay. Uh, they have a lot of Slayers in this army. Yeah, wow, the Trolls are actually like completely breaking up, huh? Trolls, you fucking cowards. All right. We're kind of getting screwed here by the uh, by the slowness of our troops' approach. But we can start hitting these ranged troops. They're going to turn around on us. It's not a big deal. Let's go deliver some dragon breath and stuff. And uh, the units of aspiring champions probably need to put up their uh, their horrors. We, we're going to need the ranged... Uh, we're going to need the volume of fire here. Okay. You need to stop moving and start shooting. Hammerers, longbeards... Probably at the hammerers... Best to stay focused on the Slayers. All right. Uh, time for the big magic. We have a lot of enemies all grouped up here. It's time to do a lot of damage to them in theory. We'll see how this actually works out in practice. Yeah, my unit's not even getting close really sucks. I thought, I thought for sure we were going to be able to handle this. The level of incompetence that we are experiencing over here is actually hugely problematic. Uh, Alright, you gotta disengage. We need you over here. Go kill this dude so he doesn't kill my hell cannon? I think is, is the, the order on that one. Aim for them... Yeah, try to finish that, I guess. All right, so we have some units running over there. We're going to just flank around them. The Forsaken are falling to pieces, even though that doesn't... They're just getting shredded literally instantly. Disengage. Don't stop disengaging. Uh, probably the Thunderers. Such a waste. I go. Uh, this is where I should have done the big, the big sun. Moving fast. Uh, well, you probably can't engage in any direct combat. I won't fail. Okay. So lots of ranged fire in on those guys. We're doing good work there. Okay, here we go. Dragon Breath in this area is going to be very good. Uh, hit those hammerers right in the center. Mm 
Yep, pretty solid. My Sorcerer Lord is considering surrender, even though he is not... Oh, he's being shot at by the Gyro Bomber. I was going to say, he doesn't seem to be taking damage. He's just like, ah, winnings for losers. All right, I need the two of you to just kind of ignore everything else that's going on here and get to work. Let's have y'all aim at... No, probably not miners. Miners are pretty low value. Yeah, hammer. Something something's in the middle there, but like Oof. This is really rough. Mortal magics are nothing. Okay. Well, Let's hope he's not out permanently. All right, trolls getting in there and doing damage to ranged units should be pretty effective. I don't have as much backup as I might like. The Manticore is holding down a surprising number of units. I don't generally think of Manticores as actually very good, but I have to say I'm, I'm impressed. Let's see if we can get these Chaos Warriors to sort of disengage, because I think the front line is being held by those Chaos Warriors. If we can get these ones to disengage and then come around the side of this formation, I think it'll be real good for us. Okay, y'all are just standing near my enemies instead of attacking my enemies. I probably don't have to tell you that that is not what you're supposed to be doing right now. No, actually I do. I literally do have to tell you, but I shouldn't. Uh, yeah, get back here and do some work. Those Doom Knights are already dead, which is bad news, obviously. A lot of very weakened dwarves, but weakened dwarves are not um, good enough. We need more than that. Forsaken should be able to chop up some rangers, I would think. The rangers certainly seem to think so. They're fleeing. Alright. I do think that dropping the um, the black sun here, the purple sun rather, would be uh, extremely irresponsible. <laughs> so how do I want to do this? How do we want to boost... Um, I guess I could just drop a... Well, Doom and Darkness only affects one enemy, though. If it was a, if it was an area debuff, I would probably do it. Let's summon some extra units in. Actually, you know what? Get him. Not let them flame cannon. Okay, we're losing this fight over here. Somehow this level one lord is beating both an exalted hero and my siege artillery at the same time, which seems like it should not be the case. All of those things can go off at the same time. Don't be difficult. Okay, most of their ground units are surrendering. Lord. Worship the flux. We are winning. Moving fast. Yeah, the horse lords are going to out damage the um They are going to out damage the archers in melee. 
which seems like a thing I shouldn't have to be worried wouldn't happen, but it totally is. Uh, we actually still have, like, our aspiring champions are just fucking in there, and they are still standing. We have a lot of units that are badly damaged, but... Yeah, Chaos Warriors. They just stand the fuck up in combat. It, it, it helps that they're fighting, like, Dwarf Warriors and Miners. These are low-tier Dwarf Infantry. They're tough enough that it takes forever for them to die, but they're not winning that fight. So I should probably use my other point of Dragon Breath, and there's not really anywhere uh, over here, probably. I was going to say anywhere where, like, there's a unit of dwarves that still needs a ton of individual damage. But yeah, that makes sense. Let's do that. Uh, Y'all just, I guess, drop on the backside of these units over here. Now that those things are broken. Also, the giant got caught up in melee with their, um, their infantry right away. And I did not have a problem with that. Because uh, I thought, okay, it'll just it'll kill whatever it's fighting. That has not really been the case, but it's not dead yet either. It has 300 HP. I'm going to try to withdraw it. Let's see if we can get it to run off the battlefield. Because I would love it, you know, if it didn't die, obviously. But I think we're really close to collapsing this interior bit of the dwarf army and... The gyro bomber is being harassed. Pretty good dragon breath. Definitely got some friendly fire on that. Okay, a lot of breakage. Uh, they still have some slayers alive. That we'll have to defeat, but I think we have finally won this. Okay. Giant was able to retreat off the battlefield. Uh, let's take our two units of Marauder Horsemen off melee mode. Never mind. Well, that sucked. <laughs> that sucked in part because I made a huge error in judgment, but we got there. So we lost a ton of units, uh, a ton of really valuable units. I guess not a ton. We lost, we lost these, but we can get more. Or we could just replace them with Skaven guns. Like, honestly, maybe we the Exalted Pink Horrors and both these units of Marauders just become Skaven ranged. I know we don't seem to be able to recruit the guns, but we could grab, like, Globadiers or something. Globadiers are still good. And yeah, if we can keep our, our high rank giant. So because this wasn't technically not a battle against the, um, the settlement but rather against an army outside the settlement. I don't know if we're going to completely destroy the dwarves by, um, destroy the, the army in the settlement the way we would if we had attacked the settlement directly. Let's see. We probably will just follow up because obviously they have nothing left. And while we are also badly wounded, we could just stand at a distance and shoot them with our hell cannon. <laughs> the horse masters will also have full ammo. Yeah, like that'll, that'll definitely be the way. Okay, the giant lives. Oh, did Krom hit 30? Indeed. Well, Krom is ascending to demonhood, but we're probably going to wait. Actually. Oh, if I send you to demonhood, though, you'll become a fire caster. I'm actually not sure if I want to do that. I really like the death spells. I might just leave you a, de a death caster, actually. Yeah, I probably, probably. Uh, infantry units. Well, I should probably, sorry, I should probably grab. Nope, not that. Let's grab Stand or Die before we go grabbing anything else in that line. Uh, and my Doom Knights, in fact, ran off the battlefield. They were not killed. Okay, yep. So it's going to make us do this manually because it's like, no, all of your stuff will die. All right. Fine, fine, fine. 
So we're gonna put the very damaged stuff at the back of the uh, the back of the spawn zone and just have it run off the map at the beginning of the battle, so we don't have to worry about it. Because the in theory, this gyro bomber could um, it could cause trouble. It could it could fly out and hunt down the really really wounded stuff. Uh, we'll probably just hurl the doom knights at it. D uh, gyro bombers have fifteen melee defense and for only forty five attack and shouldn't be shouldn't be a problem. Many of the monsters are looking fairly healthy. We have we have some healthy infantry. Two of the two of the units of aspiring champions just held out. It was a real testament to the strength of a lot of our infantry units that that fight went as well as it did. Okay, so you lot. You let our group stand at the back. I don't know if it will let me retreat my lord off of the map, so... Uh, we're probably not doing the full retreat plan. Also, I don't know if I want to split up. I do wonder if maybe this is a battle where it makes sense to just ram... I guess I don't get to split up very much, regardless of how I feel about it. Okay, we'll do this on this side, and everybody else on that side. Okay, so where are the defenders? Hard to say? That's the gyrocopter, so we're just gonna go right after that. I really don't think it has any chance of, uh, of out damaging us. Yep. Y'all run up here. What controls that? That tower is controlled by, okay, this point. So that's easy enough. And the hell cannon might not have a ton to do. Try to hit the gyro bomber, I guess. Soften it up as we approach. Oh, okay, now it's going to spawn the rest of the enemies in. Solid hit. Okay, there's those rangers. See, so yeah, it's going to try to get away. It's going to fail. Uh, we're going to retarget the hell cannon. Uh, these things are being smart, though. They're staying really close to the walls. Oh, I should have upgraded these marauders. What was I doing? You know, what? I'm going to pull them back. Actually, welcome to welcome to the survival group. The other unit of marauders can just run forward because they're dead anyway. Tremble, mortal. Okay, so that'll get broken up real fast. It is already desperately trying to surrender. We do not accept its surrender. That'll be the end of that, then. Bring us the carnage! Should be seeing a surrender any second now, so I can stop taking tower fire. Okay, there it is. 
I had to say, those towers did a lot more damage to our flying units a lot quicker than I was expecting. I was actually starting to get a little worried that the Manticore was going to die. All right, but we have now cleared this whole situation once again. Uh, I think with this settlement, I think I'm just going to raise it. Somebody can come along and take it over or whatever. But I want to not have to worry about it. Whew. And then Krom can finally go and do something else. We don't need support in Dwarf Town. Oh, well, sorry, no. I need to run south. I don't need support in Dwarf Town anymore, but my allies probably do. Yeah. What we'll to, um... We'll have to figure this out. So that would resurrect them. I do not want that. We shall weave the face. Ooh, okay. Survival. By the Eldritch I see. So, first things first. Y'all need one more level or two more levels? Some more levels. You, on the other hand, can just become a Chaos Warrior. I cannot take you directly to that. Okay, then the Chaos Warriors can be upgraded to these. Alright. Uh, yeah, level 6. Okay. Uh, these trolls should be armored trolls. Definitely is a thing I should have done earlier. Uh, you, frankly, also should be... Yeah, Chaos Warriors of Corn. No reason not to have those. All right, uh, let's talk about other stuff. So we'll kick you out. When I do allied recruitment... Oh, right, I can't... Um, can I make it back to... No, no, I. that's right, I burned stuff down. So I can't really go anywhere. We have some units in the gift pool, but I think what I'm going to do here is just let this army be shorthanded until the end of, until next turn, and we'll see about um, pulling in additional, sorry, probably better. We finish off the charge bonus. My prayers are answered. We'll see about pulling in units from the Skaven next turn. And that has left us with a surplus of cash. As it turns out, winning battles is pretty good. Uh, so is that everybody? Yeah, that's everybody. We still need time down here. Frozen City needs to get upgraded. Okay, we're getting pretty close. That's going to need it next turn. Uh, do I think... Yeah, you know what? For safety's sake, I do think that's important. And then I probably don't want to actually spend any more money this turn. Because we are going to need... Uh, we're going to need the upgrade funds for next turn. So there's still this army that's just running around raiding in my territory, and I can't actually do anything about it. It's very annoying. I suppose it's fine for the moment, though. All right. Gosh, Inkari is very large on the, on the world map. Like, way larger than he probably needs to be. <laughs> We are getting a lot of good and important stuff done. Actual actual objectives are being actually accomplished. The Dark Elves are still chasing us. I just now realized that that army's uh, lord is named Skerissa. Presumably, she could explain it all. 
It's a very dark elf, like... It's, it's ridiculous in the very fun dark elf way. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be pretty disappointed if it turns out we are just flat, not allowed to have Skaven gun teams. If the problem here is that they lost the settlement that had their gun building in it, then I guess that's more sensible, although I do not know how that could be the case. Given that, um, you know, most of their territory is still intact. We'll have to see. Um, we'll have a quick look at some of their settlements. See if we can't figure out uh, where their gun building might be. It'll be important information. If we find the gun building and it's still not letting us recruit from it, we will know for certain that. The deal is just that you don't get to take those units via this mechanic. God, that is so many dwarves. I don't, I, th I do not think that we are technically on the hook for eliminating them, but we are probably on the hook for eliminating them just because if we don't, they're going to kill all of our allies and then us. We'll have a, we'll have a look at the objectives menu again. I don't remember I don't remember if any dwarves were on it. Obviously we have to wipe out the the Empire, which is a thing we could probably have Intero do next. I might wanna I might wanna go after the elves first. I don't know, we'll see. But we're still not anywhere close to victory, because there is still the matter of Cathay to unravel. And at some point, we're going to have to backstab Prince Sigvald. We can sort of leave that for last. Okay, good work. Look at the actual coordination. Somehow, Gorobandi is still alive, technically. The way they make you have to maintain a settlement is by making your armies take attrition damage if you don't have a settlement, and attrition damage is dramatically reduced on the AI, so they can sometimes run around um, with just absolutely no, like, with no settlements, no way that an army should survive. Sometimes it could just so, sort of limp on for dozens of turns. I'm hoping that won't be the case here. Alright, Aghal seems to actually be, um capable of accomplishing some military stuff, occasionally. Pokaldaka is desperately trying to retreat, and Aghal's not going to let him do it easily. And it just, it warms the cockles of my heart, I tell you. I feel irrationally proud every time I witness one of our allies or vassals do something of value just like play well for a little while I have no idea what that Vanaheimling army is planning I guess they're probably going after the Morselib's howlers but that force is not large enough to really get that accomplished, I don't think. Okay, they're actually doing the thing. Oh, hey. Scarissa's ambush broke. Can we reach her? This will fail. No. Indeed. Should no, I just turn around and try to crush her now? Um, Torox the Brass Ball. Oh, this is that faction. Interesting. 
I actually would really like a non-aggression pact, if that's a thing that you could be talked into. <laughs> 59? Hell yeah. Alright, so we'll get a we'll get a working relationship with Torox a little bit, I guess. Um, is he annoyed on account of trespasses? He is. But like military access is going to be very expensive. And I'm at war against everybody he's at war with, so I can't really do anything to sweeten the deal. You know what? We'll worry about the Dark Elves later. Let me just knock this out. Okay, that is the end of Eatane's property inside of the circle. Now, we do have an Eatanean army right here that's just going to resettle this shit if I don't do something about it. Lord of so I guess that's probably our next concern. For chaos. Actually, we're going to get to fill both of those out anyway. I don't know why I even balked. Okay, so Intiro, I think Intiro's just going to go back and heal in Nuln. Even if it was the case that we didn't really need Nuln, I, I super can't, we can't leave the area until we put down a portal here so that we can get back. So you're probably going to have to just chill out for a while. Speak. Okay, six settlements. Oh, and they're all right there. All right, the Empire is small and weak, and we can probably finish them off relatively quickly. Chaos is all. Yeah, we'll take a turn of healing here, and then we'll debate later. It might be the case that we want to just take one more turn of healing, or we might want to go ahead and push. They're looking pretty weakened right now. I think they've lost a lot of troops to, uh, yeah, like the attack at Helmgart and stuff. We can probably make that work in our favor. All right, let's go into the encampment stance here. Yes, yes. So allied recruitment with this force does still work the old-fashioned way, where we have to we have to sit. How? What do we want to grab? Really, really disappointed about the lack of gun teams. That's right. We were going to go look and see if we could uh, if we could verify that they do or do not have the gun buildings. One. That's Doom Wheels. Uh, yeah, so Warplock Jezails are on this building. And we definitely don't have the ability to recruit Jezails. Yeah. And if we could, I absolutely would. So, we can get... Hellpit Abominations. Too horrible to die, they are. Um, but this army has a giant already. I don't know that this army needs monsters. We could grab some Doom Wheels and just, like, really juice up the cavalry thing. Doom Wheels are technically not cavalry. It's technically a war machine. Uh, or we could build out our Siege core a little bit. Like, what if I... What if we recruit another Hell Cannon from the Gift Pool... And then also grab two units of Warp Lightning. Um, the Hell Cannon we use against infantry and the Warp Lightning Cannons we use against everything else. I actually do not hate that. We could also get like Death Globe Bombardiers. Ooh. Ooh, maybe, you know, we're not allowed to get most of their guns, but we can get... Flamethrowers? The flamethrowers are exciting. Uh, these things do a truly horrific amount of damage to infantry enemies, but you have to find a clean angle of attack for them, and they do only have 80 range. <coughs> Pardon me. They'll be great against dwarves, though. In any situation where we can get them in range. Yeah, let's uh, let's grab some warp fire throwers. And do we want to make room for more? Obviously, this is all I can grab this turn uh, anyway. But 
We could, like, toss the Manticore, which I don't think is necessarily a great unit. We're going to have plenty of plenty of good flyers. 46-46 with a 64 charge bonus. Maybe I'm underestimating the Manticore. So it does have Rampage, which is a downside. When it gets hurt, it just becomes uh, uncontrollable. You cause fear, but not terror. Hmm. It is worth noting that although generally um, the Mark of Siege is good, magical attacks are actually going to do less damage against dwarves because they do hit that uh, Dwarven Magic Resist. I could drop the unit of Chaos Spawn instead. Kind of like the Armored Trolls. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I'm just going to go ahead and put in the... Uh, Yeah. Four units of warp fire throwers for the campaign against the dwarves. I think that's pretty sensible. It's unacceptable. I don't know where Inkari went, but let's let's just knock this out now. Okay, he's sailing over. Yeah, I was going to say, at some point here, we're going to have to start manually because it's doing way too much damage to my units every battle. This garrison is tiny, and this army has three Hell Cannons, so it feels to me like we can probably just shoot them to death. Uh, I guess this is technically a settlement battle, and that is going to reduce the effectiveness of these Hell Cannons. going to reduce the effectiveness of a lot of things, actually. That said, all of their units are garbage. I have to imagine that's going to that's going to help us some, you know. So we're definitely going to be winning this in part on the back of the aspiring champions and the chaos knights. And I do think we want to push in from a couple of different sides here. So, like, I guess we should have somebody trying to go in the front door. And then, honestly, yeah, I do think, like, most of the rest of us are over here. Where am I going to put the Hell Cannons that they'll actually be able to hit things? Units that are up here are going to be a problem no matter what. Okay, so all right, it's just not going to let me draw the shape I want them to approach in fucking fine. Yep, so up and around. So we have one unit over there, one unit here guarding this point, and then just units at the gates. But, like, this is insufficient, right? They're not going to be able to actually stop me from running giants through that. Moving fast. But we don't necessarily need to bring... Like, the really endangered units. Okay. 
ultimate sorcery. Boon of Sinch. I could maybe have done this before summoning the Furies. You know, you'll be fine. Just like, uh, just like dodge. Tower garbage is hitting us. I'm not so concerned. I mean, these move, right? Yeah, randomly moving. Uh, even so, doesn't it feel like just dropping it right there would be pretty good? I guess we have our penumbral pendulum as well. We can execute. Pretty decent. All right. There we go. That ought to be just about the end of that, I would think. Curled up the stairs. It's interesting how this is red and pushing redder when we have units in the box and they don't. I guess they have a couple of bodies. How's all this going? My mastery absolute. Moving fast. There we go. And remarkably, I didn't have a whole bunch of units die. How does she do it? Okay, so. That is this faction eliminated, right? And Kari's army technically still exists, but they couldn't take us if they got to us. And if they try to settle anywhere else, we will simply crush them there. So that is one thing off of our objective list. And also, Talson freed up. I have to imagine the move here is to just have Talson stay in the area and support um, Bellacor after we manage to bring Bellacor around. As much as I want to um, support adventuring on the Eastern Front, and as much as I want to push out into Dark Elf lands, uh, making sure Eotain goes down so that we don't have to come back to Elf territory later is probably the right play. I wonder, if we were to completely scour Ulthuan of Life... I wonder who would rebuild it. It's probably just the Dark Elves, actually. Yeah, it's probably not a smart thing to do while the Dark Elves yet remain. Okay, we got some armor. It's not very good armor, but we are definitely experiencing an armor shortage. Uh, You know what? I'm just going to raise him. We could do the subjugate, but that would just be, make another faction that we have to betray later, and my dance card is getting pretty full, is all I'm thinking. <laughs> yes. Demon Prince. The Sunday. Okay, yeah, I think everybody is everybody is approximately where they want to be. Uh, we should have I've forgotten where. Here it is. Should have a main settlement upgrade available. That's going to be the vast majority of our cash. Oh, 
Okay. Productive. So yeah, Inkari's plan is almost certainly going to be to just attempt to resettle something. We gotta chase him up the coast and prevent him from doing so successfully. Gosh, the AI sure does hate to take a settlement. You might argue that taking that settlement would not be very high value because they would just lose it again, given the presence of a hostile enemy army right there. But, like, if they weren't trying to take the settlement or at least make me not have it anymore, what was the point of coming over there at all? They certainly didn't get anything out of sacking that. It was a tier one outpost. Like, it must have been worth 20 gold. They just don't have a plan. The AI does stuff a lot, but it does not have a plan behind that stuff very often at all. The Exiles of Nahak are showing as a, being approximately as powerful as we are, which is worrying. I'm trying to remember. I think their, um, their starting region is up in Dark Elf territory. So if they are so powerful, I'm surprised. I don't know, maybe they made friends early with the Dark Elves or something? Also, I forgot I was going to check our objectives list and see about dwarves. Well, I'm totally definitely going to remember this time. <laughs> There are so many vampires, and all I want them to do is just stay out of my way. <laughs> they have a hell of a lot of units running around, or like um, agents running around, and not really seemingly accomplishing anything. Okay, that is definitely not the correct approach. The AI seems to have a really hard time navigating that bay specifically. Oof, y'all, okay, listen, I'm... I'm a big fan of a target of opportunity Return myself, but I have to imagine that the, the correct focus here is the Dwarven armies pouring out of Karak Kadrin not these vampires who aren't even really doing anything right now. We're going to have to take the long way around the, uh, the mountains here in order to get into Athaloran. It's going to involve going like all the way south and through a mountain pass. There's this pass up here, but... That pass does not actually connect to Athaloran. It's just a raised area in the mountains. I guess if, you know, one thing we could do, rather than walking all the way around, is wait until Intero can produce a, a, a rift, a siege rift, and then we could rift over to the one that we left by the Barrow Dens. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Some factions in this game just love to build agents. Just dozens of them scattered all over the world, each of them accomplishing approximately nothing. 
I guess they're good information, but I'll say I'll say this. I feel like I have pretty good information, and I don't have a single map action agent. So, you know, maybe it's not the only way, is all I'm saying. Okay, the decadent host is really trying to do the thing. Mistar got sacked. We got our thousand twisted blessings. Ooh, Siege Ascendant. That resets the cooldown on the Cursor's Moon, right? Yeah, we saw that before. Okay, so we are going to stop for the day here, but... I'm going to do this first, just so that we can be sure that it gets done. Okay, that's not actually in the province that I did that in. Yeah, this area is definitely part of Reichland, but whatever, it's fine. That's a fine place for the portal. Okay, one last thing before we stop. Victory conditions. Uh, on the long campaign victory, okay, we do have to wipe out Karaza Karak. We do not have to take out Karak Kadrin. We probably still have to take out Karak Kadrin, right? So we're pretty close on Eotain. We're working on, working towards Talson and Reichland with Intero's army. The Northern Provinces is still a huge problem. Karaza Karak is still a huge problem, and we will definitely be at enough settlements destroyed before we get there. Whew. All right. Anyway, that is where we're going to have to stop for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, my hope is that we're going to be able to formally scratch a couple of names off of our list here. Um, at some point, we do have to turn on the Decadent Host still, and then there is the Great Campaign to the East, but I think we're making really solid progress here. Come back next time to see if that all falls apart, and we'll see you then.